Hi everyone. I'm here to introduce to you network fundamental. Okay. You can see this is two different structured network LAN, local area network. What is network? What is computer network? Should I say some people will say network is you know social media. Facebook, Google, you know, YouTube, and other applications like Twitter, um, what do you call it? Instagram? No, that is not network, okay? But those things, server, connect to network, okay? Network is, you know, linking of two or more computers to a device called switch or hub, okay? Just like this. You can see switch or hub, okay? In order to share resources. And what are those resources? Resources could be that, you know, social media you think that is network, okay? It could be Facebook, it could be Instagram, okay? It could be the internet. Resources could be file server, could be printer. These computers, these devices connected to this switch can share this printer, okay? Because this printer too is connected to this network with an IP address, okay? So linking of two or more devices, computer, you know, systems together in order to share resources, okay? Now, look at this device. Let's say this is hub. Okay, all these computers connected to this hub are in one collisions domain, meaning that they are sharing bandwidth. Okay, network with hub means all the computers connected to this hub are sharing bandwidth because they are in one collisions domain and one broadcast domain. Collisions domain is when computers are connected to a hub. Inside that hub, there is a kind of wire. All the computers, you might see that there are different hubs, I mean, ports here, but logically, there is a wire which they are connected to, sharing files, sharing the bandwidth. Hub is a half duplex device, meaning that one computer must finish, you know, transmitting files before the other computer will start. And in today's network, such thing is not in existence. You hardly see hub in a network environment in a company or, you know, in an organization. But you may still see it in some home network today, which does not require, you know, large number of computers connected to it. Okay? Because they are sharing bandwidth and each hub port it runs at the speed of 10 megabit per second. Okay? So now there is a career sense multiple collisions dictation that runs in the hub in order to control, you know, to avoid collision, okay? Because they are in one collisions domain and also in one broadcast domain. One broadcast domain is that all these computers can share one address space. They are connected in the same local area network, okay? So... Now, if this computer wants to talk to this computer, it's sending like a broadcast, which is, which, is, which is not the best, okay, in today's network. Despite that this, this PC wants to talk to this PC too, and PC3, PC4, and PC5, we get a copy of that communication, okay? But they will drop it. Then, the one that PC2, that, that file, in, you know, was meant for, we received the file. And, you know, broadcast, we reduce bandwidth, okay? Causing, you know, network overhead, okay? It slows, it slows the speed of the network, making hub unsuitable for large network in today's modern network, okay? So now switch came to rescue. Every port on this switch 
is in its own collisions domain, meaning that when PC1 want to communicate with PC2, it goes straight to PC2, and PC3, PC4, PC5 will not see that communication and will not get a copy of that you know, frame. Switches operate using media access control. The switches frame, okay? When a data comes to switch, it will you know, convert to frame. So, but they are still in one broadcast domain. All computers connected to switch is in its own collisions domain, but in one broadcast domain. Okay? So that is it. This is a router. Router is an internet work device. It connects networks. Router does not really care about LAN, local area network, computers connected to. They care about networks. They connect different networks. Okay? Even in, a, in an office environment, router connects different departments. Because when a large broadcast domain is divided, which is the router's function, it breaks broadcast domains. It breaks one broadcast domain into broadcast domains by default. Okay? That is router. And we also take the network to the internet. It connects different, to different networks. And router also has a security feature that can manage this land, that can create some policies, some security policies in a networking environment. Okay? For instance, look at this LAN. This is a LAN and this is another LAN. This LAN, we are together. But look at the way router separated this network. If this PC1 send a broadcast, it will stop here. Because LAN, all these computers, this router is connected the way all these computers are connected to, which means this router here is a part of this LAN. Okay? So when a one piece is sent broadcast, router will receive that broadcast, but router will drop it. It cannot be more than this interface. It can't enter router. Okay, let alone passing to this network. No. So whatever happens here will not happen here. And for these two pieces to communicate, router will intervene. For this two, for PC one to send, you know. Sorry, for PC1, let's say this is PC, PC10, PC11, PC12, PC13, okay? For instance, for PC1 to communicate with PC10, router will intervene, okay? Router will receive that packet and look up to see that this address, the destination address is in its routing table. And router will check if this PC1 has the, you know, right to communicate with this PC. Because a policy with, you know, might be configured here. Not to allow PC1 to reach PC10. Router has that feature. A network administrator can create that feature. So whenever a packet Router receives a packet on its LAN interface, it compares, it looks up and checks if this packet has the right to cross the, 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 the router. Router stands at gateway. Okay? So that is it. So now you can see another LAN is here. This gigabit uplink, gigabit uplink to the router. Okay, from here, there's a speed of one gigabit per second or more. This LAN here can operate at 100 megabit per second, but here can operate, you know. So now another device there is firewall. ASA, Cisco ASA, you know, adaptive security appliance. Because it can see that this router is connected to public network, which is the internet. It's connected to untrusted network. So 
as a device need to put here. This is our private network. This is a private network as an organization, which is trusted. It's a trusted network, but internet is on trusted network. So you need to put a kind of a security here. This is a security appliance, which might be intrusion prevention system or intrusion detection system. Mostly, it is called firewall or firepower. Okay? So a, a security expert will configure this device in such a way that it will filter unwanted traffic when unwanted traffic is coming, get to here, this will stop it. It will enter into this router. When a virus is coming from the internet to attack our computers in this LAN, it will stop here. This will filter it and not allow it to enter. That is what is called firewall. Okay? Now, you can see we have a wireless access point for our wireless devices. This wireless access point is connected just like other computers, just like wired computers, okay? Giving this, it broadcasts, you know, it's a kind of, it radiates wireless signal for wireless devices to join the network, just like these computers. If a DSCP dynamic host configuration is configured in a router, to assign IP addresses automatically, dynamically, these wireless devices will also, you know, acquire those IP addresses. And that is most times, if you get to a company's network, you are, which maybe they left their wireless Wi-Fi system open, you will see a wireless device acquiring IP address, which is, which means, a DHCP was configured on that router, which you may not see, okay? So that's it, okay? So now, these are network cables, which comes in various types. It is called STP, Shielded Twisted Pair Cable. And at each end of this cable, there is a connector called RUJ45 connector which is terminated at both sides, okay? One enters the switch port and one enters at the back of computer's switch port. Port, which is also, you know, similar to switch port. This is the, this. And also, LAN also has, this cable is also shielded twisted pair cable, which comes in several categories, category five, category five E, category six, okay? Even I think cat, cat seven is, you know, is um, out now, okay? So that is it, that is it. And if actually you want to connect your, you know, router, you can see his, where this, router is connected to the internet, maybe through ISP, okay? ISP connect to the internet, okay? If you have a branch office in another city, it can still link that office to the internet and configure, you know, make some configurations that we also join this network. And for you to, you know, link your network, their LAN, to the other LAN on the other city, you need to create what is called virtual private network, like a tunnel, so that whatever that is going through, whatever file that is going through the other branch will be hidden on the internet. You create a tunnel. If this system sends packet, you know, it will enter this tunnel without other routers connected to internet seeing it. Okay? So that is network fundamental, okay? That is what network is all about, you know? Are we, you know, keep telling you, and also a switch can also break broker's domain, okay? But not by default, like a router. 
you create it. A network administrator will create, you know, a switch, divide it into sub-network called virtual LAN. Virtual LANs. I can put this PC2 on one VLAN, put this PC3 on another VLAN, at the end, they won't communicate. Whichever I assign, let's say this is in VLAN 10, whichever computer I have put in VLAN 10 will communicate within the VLAN 10, which means I've created a separate broker's domain, just like a router. Router does that by default. You don't need to create anything in router before router will break this network into two. Okay, but switch, you can create several in a large network because router has maximum of four LAN interfaces. Now, in a large network, we are all in a large company, organization, where they have several staff. Okay, staff runs into hundreds, 200, 300 staff. What do you need to do? And that's this company has different, several departments, logistic, accounting department, sales department, production department, HR, you know, procurement, uh, several departments that you don't need to use a router to break this broker's domain. Broker's domain is like department. You have separated this network departmentally. You give each department their own network. You give the, each department their own network. You create their own broker's domains. Let them remain in their broker's domains and run their server. If they want to talk to the other department, they will pass through the router. And where would you do that? You do it in a switch. That is why switches, Ethernet switches, manageable switches are the best you know, network devices to create LAN. Hub will work. Hub is just it's just there. It's just nothing. No, hub is just just plug computer and they talk to each other. That's all. But switch, it can log into your switch and make some changes and create different broker domains. Despite that each computer connected to this hub is on its own collisions domain, it's like a lane, four lanes, many lanes. Each computer is on its own lane. Nothing is disturbing it. Nothing can obstruct it. When PC1 wants to talk to PC2, it goes straight to PC2. PC3 will not, PC3 will not be aware that PC2 have communicated to PC3. Sorry, PC4 will not be aware that PC1 have communicated to PC2. That is collisions domain. They are in, in, on every, every computer is in its own collisions domain, unlike Hub. Hub, when PC1 wants to communicate with PC2, it broadcasts it because they are they connected to the same wire inside. Every computer will get a copy, but the one that that packet was meant for will receive that file. Making Hub unsuitable device in a large network. Okay? And they cannot use Hub to break broker's domains, to create user um what do you call it user group okay departmentally okay so switch we give has a, some sweet features that gives the network administrator the flexibility to break you know one large broker's domain into hundreds broker domains okay but router will still play a role because without a router when you create different VLANs, they won't communicate. You still need to come to router and, you know, create sub-networks and assign different IP addresses from different IP space or spaces, okay? So this is network for you. This is net what network is all about. So now, Stay connected. I will see you in the next topic. Okay? Thank you.